And welcome back to the one and only Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM, brought to you by Adrenaline Athletic Training in Corona and Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change in Riverside. And here comes the interview that everybody's been waiting for, the pride of Colton High School, Sharice Ride from 49ers Training Camp. Sharice, how's it going, man? It's going good. How you doing? Going good. We're doing great. How, how's camp treating you right now? Training camp's always a grind, right? Yeah, it's just a grind. A daily grind. You know, long days, short nights. But it's been good. Now, how is training camp different for you this year now that you're with the 49ers as opposed to the, you know, with the Chargers? Do you have to get into like a different routine? Maybe you've got, you know, guys you're getting used to now, new teammates. I mean, how is this year's training camp different as opposed to previous years with San Diego? It's different in a lot of ways. It's just, you know, being around a bunch of guys that, you know, I'm getting to know and a bunch of, you know, guys that are getting to know me at the same time and kind of, you know, getting out of your comfort, comfort zone. You know, I try to stick to the same routine every day and, you know, following that that aspect of, uh, of you know, how I go about my days. But, you know, it's been good. We're talking with Sharice Wright of the San Francisco 49ers and, Sharice, you had some great years in the secondary with San Diego. Tell me why you think the 49ers are a good fit for you now. Oh, man, just, just the opportunity of, you know, them not bringing back their two starting corners and, um, you know, them being in a, in a division, you know, where they, they're going to play against some, some good receivers every every year and just, you know, like, you know what, what, type, what type of player they look for. And I think them really well, physical. Corner, you know, who likes to be aggressive, you know, who likes to tackle, you know, and he likes to play man to man, and you know, this that's what they're looking for, and I'm just, I'm just thankful that, you know, I'm getting to their team. Now I know we're still in the early days of training camp, but what have you seen from your team's quarterback, Colin Kaepernick? Because there's a lot of hype that this off season he's he's really improved and he's really taken that next step to be an elite signal caller. I mean, what have you seen as you as you're going against him in training camp? Uh, just to, just to me, the, the offense is a little bit different. The offense is just little. And it's made up for him to, to be that, that guy. It's not just hand off the ball, camping and, and, and scramble whenever you can and, and make plays with your feet. You know, the offense is set up for him to, you know, lead through his progressions and to make his throws and, you know, to get, get receivers open. So, to me, and after game plan for him last year and, you know, being in training against him now and I'm down here this year, you know, that, that's what you see is different last year was, just, you know, put three tight ends in a game and run the ball with, with Gola. Um, let's, let's spread out a little bit and you just take off and, and run with, with your feet. And this year's a little bit different. He's running a lot less than he was last year. He, he's looking to throw the ball more. Now, Sharice, as you enter the season with a new team, the San Francisco 49ers, do you feel do you feel any pressure? Do you do you, what do you feel as in trying to make a good first impression with your new team? Because obviously, you want to go out there and make plays and show them that they made the right decision to bring you in, right? Well, I mean, that's what you want to do. You want to, you, you want to just let the game come to you for the most part and just stay focused and just handle the things that, that you can control and the things that I can control and just stay healthy. And just knowing what I got to do, knowing my assignment, just believing, believing in myself, and knowing that you know that my defensive coordinator believes in me, my teammates believe in me to to go out there and make those plays. When you know you got people who believe in you, you know they let you just play because you are a veteran now, and you, you play for you know enough years in the league to where you you don't have to worry about making mistakes out on the field. You just play. And Sharice, before we let you go, uh, let's turn back the clock just for a second, and uh, let's go back to your Colton High School days. Because when you look back, <laughs> hey, there. Were... Second, that's almost two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but when you when you look back, I mean, man, Colton High School with Coach Strauss, there was a run there where Colton High School was just cranking out the NFL players. When you look back, I mean, that was really the golden age of high school football for Colton, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was. It was a fortunate, fortunate time for us, and you know that that we were able to to have that success, you know, and produce the way we did, and you know, get a group of guys together and, and be able to, to make it to the next level. And that's just, you know, it just took took three of us to to open up a lot of doors for a lot of other players that that came that came after us, but it were players before us that could have done the same thing if they have the opportunity if they knew, you know, 
how how to get it done. And unfortunately, we have we have people around us that helped us with that. And it's a team was a great area. You know, we reminisce about those times. Uh, you know, from from time to time, when I talk to Aaron and Jimmy, Brad, and you know those guys, I still keep in you know, Brad Sorensen, and those guys, I keep in contact with them. And you know, we reminisce about those days, and it was definitely a uh, fun time in our lives. Well, Sharice, I'm sure you're going to make some new great memories in San Francisco. We appreciate you taking the time to join us here on the one and only Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports 1350. Yes, yeah. thank you, guys.